Hi everyone. So yesterday I posted uh, <laughs> on a Facebook group a question saying like, can you guess how I managed to stream the video from Resolum into the magic face, uh, the screen, the virtual screen of this. So, and uh, some of you are very, very closed. However, in this particular uh, case, I actually used uh, a, a tool that I managed to find over the internet just by mistake, I would say by mistake, uh, by out actually by out of curiosity, and uh, it's not the ultimate tool. However, it's one of the tools, especially if you're using Mac. Okay, so this tool works only for Mac, not for Windows. In my case, I'm using uh, Resolume Arena in the uh, in a demo mode, so you're gonna see some uh, the Resolume Arena noises like this. Yes, so just disregard it because as I said I'm running in a demo mode and I'm using also additional tool uh, that helped me to actually stream the data from output of Resolume into my magic face and I'll show you how it works and I'll show you the name and I'll show you where to find it again I will repeat it it only works for Mac there are other tools and I will explore them and when I found and I make sure that they do work I will show you how to utilize them as well. But in this case, this is the tool. So it's called CITP tool. It's simple. Basically, I just Googled it and I found it. So this tool allows you to take the uh, siphon output of the Resolume, run through it, convert it into the CITP stream and send it into the magic queue. And the magic queue will translate it into the magic vis. So um, they both, all these tools are working in a demo mode, and they will stop working at some point. So you will need to restart them again. This is not commercial versions. You can see here in a demo mode because I downloaded them and I tested them. So if you want to download them, all you have to do is just Google CITP tool, or it's going to find it for you as an k-mt.net. Uh, slash CITP hyphen tool slash and just just google it you will be able to find it here it's called CITP tool version 2 and uh, yeah it works on uh, only for Mac so if you're a Windows user you won't be able to use it as I said there are other tools I'm sure they they work in this tool this is just for uh, for uh, Mac so you download it in the demo demo mode it works again with the certain limitations and if you want to buy the license feel free to to uh, to buy them again I'm not uh, I'm not getting any <laughs> any money for that all I'm doing is is just I'm saying this tool exists so then what you do is you basically run CITP tool yeah you run first of all let's do this you go to the resolume then you go to the output you press texture sharing siphon that's it this is what I did so you just press this. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the output monitor, the composition, the final look on the uh, in the output and send it via Siphon. So then the tool, which is called CITP tool, again, so obvious from the name, it's actually catch it, capturing it here. So you can choose the server that it sees right now as a source. It's a composition, it's arena. So you choose that and you can preview it. If you see it here, you press just start server, you will start previewing it and send it into the magic queue. So all, all I had to do is I, if I stop it, hope it will continue working after that. So all I did was I've chosen chosen the network interface and I've chosen the one that I'm using the Wi-Fi on. If you don't use the Wi-Fi, anything, there is a loopback interface. So 127.001, I think. Then multicast group, I've chosen the whichever was the first option there. And I've chosen operating mode as a siphon. So you have three options. You have a desktop streamer. So you can choose to stream part of your desktop. You can send it through from Catalyst Media Server, or you can do it from Siphon. And I've chosen the Siphon. After that, you choose one of the modes. So this mode, it says it's compatible with MA, but we're not talking about that. So I've chosen MSX 1.2, and I press Start Server. So as soon as I press Start Server, it actually starts sending the data over CITP feed. Okay? So the next step is going to be how to set it up on MagicQ. All right, 
So I've got a uh, magic queue and the way I set it up was quite simple. So in the let's set it up in the, in the magic vis first. I'll press patch, then I press view vis, then you went to the attach objects and you press insert. Okay, you press insert, then you choose form. Okay, when you choose form, it will make you an object in the size of the cube. All you do is you choose the option here, again, double click, you choose the option here which is called sheet, you click on it, and then you give the dimensions of the screen. So I gave dimensions like 16 by 9, so just sort of a wide screen, 16 by 9 sort of resolution. And I positioned, moved it around, so I, I made it like a, a big screen behind my stage. Then the trickiest part, or the trickiest part I'm saying, this is the part that m some of you may not know about. Basically, you need to indicate that this receives the data from one of the media players. And in my case, I'm using the media player too. So if you're still in this window, you select it and you press arrows here. until you find a texture column and you type here the name the number of the media player so in my case it's a media player 2 so i press mp2 and enter that's all i did okay so it's a letter m which is media p player 2 as my number 2 and you're going to ask what this mp2 refers to is following so if you press setup then you go to the view system then you press view media okay so because i was using the media uh, the pixel mapper the first s virtual server for pixel mapper has been set up so it's in use i cannot use it so what i did was i actually clicked here okay double click and i typed the name i typed citp test this is how i called it so the next trick is you come here in the type of the server you double click and you type choose CITP live feed. Okay? You choose that option. Then you go to the right and you type IP address. And you type IP address of your machine. Or if you're using the loopback, so it's going to be 127001, I believe. But because I'm using my home Wi Fi, I have the IP address 192.168.0.10. So I've just typed in the same very same IP address I'm using on my computer. So if you don't understand, I'm talking about this. So disregard the name of my Wi-Fi. So it see it says here once ninety two one sixty eight zero ten. This is the IP address of my Wi-Fi and I'm using that. After that you do after you do that you press on the thumbnail con uh, collection here. Okay? And you press enter so it will become from disabled it becomes enabled after that you press here in a live preview and it says no you press enter as soon as these both two activated the the connection status becomes connected as soon as this becomes connected your mp2 or like the media player 2 that is your media player will start streaming the data in and straight away, you will start seeing the video running on your screen. Again, you choose here any name you want. You type here, double click, and you choose the CITP live feed. Then don't change anything here. You type in here the IP address of your home network, of your computer, actually, the one that you're using right now. You choose thumb, uh, thumbnail connection. So if I press enter, see, I disabled it. I, live preview disabled it so now you can see nothing so the media player 2 is showing nothing however if I select and I press enter and I press here enter straight away the video will start streaming in and it shows the status connection connected that's it so as I showed you as I told you it works again with cert certain limitations, I agree. Yes, you can see the demo mode here. Yes, because the tool is free and it's in the demo mode. So if you liked it, feel free to buy it. Uh, I will be exploring more uh, tools to send the data in. 
but this is one of those so if you're a mac user if you don't have this thing feel free to try it and let me know how it works for you so that's it for today ah again of course in the view settings you need to make sure that in the view settings network here in ip address you have your own ip address set so if you double click you choose the local ip address so this is the one i'm using my wi-fi module okay that's all for today again hope it was helpful and it was useful for you thanks and have a lovely evening bye bye